Hello and welcome to the Armanino Consulting Microsoft Dynamics CRM tutorial series. Our topic for this session will be qualifying and converting leads. So let's jump right into the software and get started. So here we are. It's opened up to my dashboard and to get to my leads area I'm going to go down to sales and here we go leads. So before we get started with this qualification and conversion let's talk about what is a lead. A lead oftentimes is synonymous with a suspect and where they come from is typically uh, a number of different areas. We might buy a list, we might meet a number of folks at a trade show, we might have folks that are coming into our database from our website. And in most of those cases, those names need some sort of additional qualification to determine is this a person that is that we want to have a relationship with? Uh, do they have an interest, want, or need for the product or service that we sell? And once we determine that, yes, indeed, uh, we want to pursue them, they are a bona fide prospect, uh, then we will convert them potentially into a, a contact record, into an account, which is typically a business, and depending on how much information we get, we may consider it an opportunity already. Now, there is the opposite side of that where we m attempt to make contact, and we determine that no, this is not a good lead for us to try to pursue, and we would disqualify the lead. So let's take a look at that process. So we have a number of leads in the system. The default view I have set up is my open leads, but you'll see there's a number of different system-wide views already built for us. So if I wanted to see all the leads, whether they were mine or open or closed, I could see that list. Uh, if I wanna see all of the leads that have been closed, there's a system view for that, or all the open leads in the system, whether they were mine or not, assuming that I have the security permission to see those. So let's go ahead and we'll go with my open leads. Now again, the idea is that we want to reach out and try to qualify this contact. And so we might do that through a series of phone calls. We might do that through email campaigns. And the same information that we're able to track about accounts, or businesses and the same information we would track about contacts we have the ability of tracking that back to leads as well so as we're completing phone calls perhaps or scheduling appointments all of those can be tracked to the lead itself and then when we determine that yes indeed this is someone we want to pursue a relationship with then we do what's called qualifying the lead and you'll see there's a button right up top for that so let's select that. And what this allows us to do from this one entity here, we can create a business record, which the nomenclature out of the box is account. We can create a contact record for the person. And we could also create an opportunity if we had gathered that enough information about that. And we could also have it open those records so that we could further fill out the information about each one of those entities. Uh, for this demonstration, I'm just simply going to say, yes, please, create all three of those, and we'll say, OK. So you'll notice that the lead itself went into a read-only state. It's considered closed and with a status of being qualified. So if I go back and I look at my list now, that contact is no longer in my list of open leads. So where did she go? If I go look at closed leads, I'm gonna see there she is, Yvonne. And why is she in the closed status? Because she was qualified. Now let's take a look at the other outcome that may happen as we're qualifying leads. We'll open up Teresa. And let's say that we have a threshold that uh, three phone calls, and voicemails, if we don't get a hold of that person, we're going to disqualify the lead, not pursue it anymore. So we're going to use the same button, oddly enough, called qualify. But in this instance, we're going to choose to disqualify it. And we have a series of options that we can say, why was it disqualified? And in my example, we could not contact. So we'll say OK to that. And then this lead also goes into the read-only state. It's no longer in my list of open leads and it would show up in my list of closed leads. And one is qualified and one was disqualified. Now, perhaps Teresa calls us back and says, I understand you were trying to get a hold of me. Uh, I'm sorry, I was on vacation. 
uh, but I am interested, could we talk? We don't have to start over with that. We could take this lead and reactivate it. So she goes back into our active open list of leads. And there she is. So there is a brief introduction to the concept of qualifying and converting leads. I hope you found that valuable. If you'd like to learn more information about implementing Microsoft CRM within your organization, please give us a call or drop us an email. We'd be happy to help you through the process. Thanks so much and have a great day.